I'll be the first to tell you that it's it's just not great. Hey, 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 hey. Ah! Hello everyone, it's a beautiful morning for more State of DK2. Let's see. Today what we are gonna be doing is looting the starting I, I guess we're gonna call it the starting area, and that's because on Lethal Zone. It looks like the the way that Undead Labs designed the game is that the starting area always... Hey guys, we could really use a hand over here. Guns. Right, okay, well, uh, a brief... De well, actually, not a brief detour. Okay. I was intending to get somebody to help me loot anyways. And uh, when I last exited the game, I believe these guys wanted a gun, so I packed a empty, crummy gun to give them, so it's all good. But as I was saying, it seems like it is an intentional part of the game's programming to leave the starting area unlooted in a Nightmare Zone playthrough, so... Might as well take what they are offering, and by that I mean looting all of the initial area. Can't do it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's nice see what we see got here. Come on and hang out. Um, oh, I gotta give him the gun. Don't want to give him a good gun. I want to give him this empty piece of junk gun that still kind of, you know, gets the job done. Okay, here you go. Catch you later. Who, who is you? There you go. Thanks. Don't now, let's see how much how much are they going to give us for it? A hundred influence? That's actually a good price for the gun. And now they are... What are they giving us? Oops, got to go to the map. They are giving us the bonus uh, overflow barracks. That's actually not bad. How many beds does that give us? Overflow barracks? Where is it? The call it okay. There it is. Plus, oh, that's actually not bad. Plus three. That's the equivalent of uh, what facility is that? It is the equivalent of a sheltered bed upgraded to level two because the regular sheltered bed gives two, and then you can upgrade it to give you three. So that's honestly, that's honestly not hey, bad. Let's see. What do you have for sale? Sure, I guess I'll so. buy this because we are in the process of restocking everything. And uh, how much parts do I have? Uh, you know, hey. I'm gonna buy it anyways. Like, we've got money to burn. Uh, Let's go today? ahead and buy okay. this toolkit. And what are your skills? People skills, oh yes. Oh yeah, yeah, this is where we got Ulysses. Good to yeah, see you it. can come with me this time. I need here. a hand. Yours will do. Guess you're on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I definitely could use someone with people skills. That's a... Uh, that's exactly the kind of person that I'm looking for to definitely not get his butt blasted by zombies. Okay, so let's get to looting this initial area. Why are we going to loot the initial area? Uh, like I said, it's just because it's uh, yeah, well, a... If they're going to give... I, I'm going to take anything they give me on lethal zone. What, what is this person here? Oh, uh, the stillers left behind. Don't really care about them, to be honest. Not really motivated to... Save. I mean, it would be another trade partner. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. Right. I, I just don't want to get distracted from my main goal. My main goal is just to loot this stupid place so that we can have our kind of like initial stuff. I believe I will fight it out with these guys just because like I don't. I, I mean, I got two people and it's not that many zombies. We can Eyes take open. them. Zombies coming in. We just got to give them the old stibbity stabber. There we go. And then you. Is that, was that zombie just completely ignoring him by chopping his back up? Like, I couldn't tell what was happening there. Okay, let's see. Let's get to work here. Random stuff. Hopefully we get something like fuel. That's what I would really... You know, a bit of fuel wouldn't hurt some parts. You know, That's stuff nice. like that. Um, when I said some parts, I did not, I, maybe I should have been a bit more specific, like, four is a little bit low. That's okay, though. Um, okay, there we go, not bad. Now, get, guys, getting started with some decent stuff. One tank of fuel, I'll take it. Nothing to really get super excited for us so far, though, to be honest. What do we got here? Okay, more four parts. I, I guess we're up to eight. Up to Gonna bash our way in. Sucks that we can't um, anymore. 
first aid. Severely doubt we are going to get a rucksack of medicine here. Maybe some bandages? Oh, shiny. Oh, a stray tampon. Even better. Let's go ahead and sell that yeah. to Nicholas. You got yeah, you yeah, see that? Okay. A stray tampon. Look at this. A stray tampon is equally as valuable as a hand grenade. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? That's the hand grenade was also worth 34 influence, so yeah. You heard it here first. A stray tampon, equally as val as valuable as a hand grenade. This Okay, so it says here potential resources, materials, or fuel. It, it, one of them better be in here. There we go. We still need more building materials. That's kind of why I haven't moved out to the next area yet, just because, one, we don't have the... The personnel for it but also if we move there i wouldn't even be able to build anything anyway so you know what would be the point in it um let's hit this place next and it looks like we are already hitting the capacity on our storage so i might have to immediately begin finagling but i do i don't i don't care i just want to sweep up this initial area another thing i need to do let me figure we need to keep generating more allies as well. Locate hey, other survivors. Am I just talking to myself? Oh, Can I heard somebody. Respond so I don't go crazy, please. And immediately scream so we may have company. We are the remnants. If you want to come by and say hello, find us at the nondescript house. Wow, what what amazing directions! Just find a nondescript house. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it looks like the scream did bring some people in. Which I suppose I will have to deal with. Yep, there he is. That's fine, not, not much to it. Oh, okay, you got... Getting bit in... Okay, I understand if the AI cannot overcome a large quantity of zombies. What I don't get is why they get damaged in, like one-on-one -on -one combat it's literally just the ai is got some kind of programming that makes them unaware or something but we get some like sanitizers or something like that what do we get here give me the rucksack we're done here there we go let's go ahead and sell let's this down to business. another 34 okay. influence look they add up they though the, all those little like little bits of 30 30 influence here and there they will quickly add up so let's go what's heavier this is heavier, so we'll hang on to this and throw that in. Let's move on to the next location. Um, Leafy Acres Garden Supply. So this is probably going to have seeds. We always need a little bit of seeds just to keep the garden going. Which is, you know, it's welcome. I'll take it. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, it's kind of a big deal. You do need seeds. Parts... Still nothing that's really electrifying me. See, we got a zombie out there being nosy. I probably all... I do need to get rid of that infestation as well. That is something that is on the list of things to do. So let's throw this in the back. Like so. And let me just give this guy the stabby... Oh! Multiple guys. Okay. You think you just killed one, but you wind up having to kill them all. Now, let me give you a hand there. I see that you're having trouble, like, axing down this, this, like, armored zombie. Okay, everybody up. Everybody up. We gotta, we gotta make a drop off. Not bad. I just found some food while wandering the base. Guess that should help. Yeah, it, it, it'll do something. Um, okay, let's go over here. Drop off our stuff. There we go. Not driving like a maniac today. Very nice. Wow, I was actually wondering if we would go over capacity on some of those, but obviously we still need more. Ah, uh, I think we're just gonna ignore these guys. So where are the... Welcome to the party over there, sure. I'm gonna back into this screamer or not, or I'll just completely miss him. That's also a possibility. What am I looking for? I'm going towards the orange triangle. The orange one, not the yellow. Let me remove the yellow one real quick before it trips me out. That happens quite frequently. Happens quite often to me. Might give these guys a honk real quick just to see if we can get those zombies to come out. Come back and deal with them later. 
already seeing a decent number of Blood Plague bloaters, which kind of makes me a little bit sad. Not super sad, but... Less Blood Plague bloaters is nice. Especially since they hardly give you any influence. I think on standard zone, they give you like 10 influence. It's not too bad. That those would add up over time, but now they barely give you anything. Alrighty, yeah, feel free to reach out to us. Let's go. I also want to steal everything in your house because I moved into a house and didn't loot it. What if, what if they did loot the house and all they're doing is just using these for storage? Like, they, this is their storage supply. We're just, like, taking their stuff and then we're just going to, like, either use it ourselves or sell it back to them. That's kind of what, that's what I imagine I do. Like, the, the first thing I do is, like, greet people. No, 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 I am... Your host, El Supremo Dictator Fox, like, what they're doing is, they just prepared their offerings for me. See, that's what's really happening here. They're like, oh, please do not, you know, oh, bottle of conditioner, oh, I, I, I love conditioner in real life, I definitely would keep those, but we will be selling them in this case. But yeah, they're basically like, no, don't make a whole bunch of noise and lure, like, every zombie in town over to our location. You can take anything you want. I'm like, well, then take everything I want will be exactly what I do. Jugs of ethanol. We've never been able to set up the Hi. the typical trade with that, but uh, what can you do? Yeah. What can you do? Um, there we go. Bar, bar of soap. I want to buy some of this stuff, I think. I want to buy a toolkit. And do I want ammo and fuel? I don't want ammo, but I do want fuel. Hey there, business partner. Give me the fuel. Sure, why not? Good, you guys, um... Actually, let me check your skills. What hey what there. skills do you guys have? Learn about survival. Ooh, nothing. Potential Hi. recruit. Uh, Delphina. Computers! Oh, man, we'll need you to upgrade our computers and shop. Okay, I know who is the weak link of this one. I believe shopping allows you to loot faster. But I don't know why that would be important when you could also just get stealth, which allows you to fast search. And I think that's just a better option. I think it'd just be way better to fast search, as well as get all the additional benefits of stealth as opposed to just having a skill that lets you only loot faster. Okay, I thought we lost our door. For a second. We got a shit pile of sets over there. Wow, we got a lot of zombies on the road right now. That makes me kind of unhappy. Not like super unhappy, but like kind of like, ah. Eh. I kind of was hoping that it would be a little easier to remove these zombies. I think I I think we could take this infestation right now though. I did bring my crossbow with me. Good work. <laughs> Yeah, those guys haven't heard anything. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Okay, yeah, we are hitting the members of this infestation. Oh, I love it when they just stand still like that. Then I don't have to have I don't have to have aim when I can when they just stand still. That so didn't count. Like, like there, there, there was right. no way that was a headshot. They just gave it to me with bullet magnetism. You know, a lot of people don't know bullet magnetism is a thing in shooter games, which is basically when the shot that is just slightly off gets, like, sucked in. I'm going to stab each of them individually in order to try and interrupt them from screaming. Basically, what I could have done is just gone in there and grabbed one of them, but what I was worried is that one of them would scream while it was being grabbed. So I decided just to stab both of them to put them through like a stagger animation and then execute them. Which, I mean, like, who, who knows if it would have, it may not have mattered at all, but, you know, just a safety precaution. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and loot this area. Small office actually sounds really appetizing, and that's because offices typically have books. And books are pretty useful if we have potential recruits that don't have any skills. Watch your step in here, buddy. <laughs> Why? There. Why? What's, what's wrong in here? There, there's right. not a single zombie that's in here. What I like. All right, can we get any books? Also, books, if we don't need the books, books sell for 85 influence, so. Whoa, boy, a little bit more bit stuff in here. I wasn't expecting any of this now. Hold on, rolling out the red carpet. Um, 
crap, I'm gonna have to, like, do something with this stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna hit, I didn't think I was gonna hit full inventory this quickly. Yeah, I'm not saying that was, like, hitting the jackpot or anything, but it was a lot more than I was expecting. I I Are you serious? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna sell the bandages. No, I don't want to claim this as an outpost. We, we don't need bandages. I, I'm, I, I, I'm just not going to use them. There we go. All right, I think it's time we do a stab. Oh, that's one thing that I did off screen. I went ahead and spent some materials to upgrade the command center to level two, which and that allowed me to add our signal booster because you can't add it to the level one. So now we have five outposts available. Oh, looks like we got a screamer right here. Nope. Oh, he went right behind. At the very last moment. Okay, we need to probably get in our car and leave because we're about to have some zombie buddies. I can do a quick turn to fling him off. I want to choose a location for an outpost. I'd like it to be a restaurant. No, I want a restaurant. Oh, I hear them getting too close to my car. I, I don't remember this map very well, so I don't know where the restaurants are. Um, we just brought a zombie shambling toward base. Oh, Shouldn't looks like we need to defend our base. Let's do that first. Priorities, folks, priorities. Also, we'll get some standing for that, which, like, a little bit of a trickle of standing doesn't hurt. Because we do need to get our guys promoted for their bonuses. And she has a really good bonus, which is the meal plan. So I do want to get that leveled up. Remember, everyone fights. No one quits. Okay, while the zombies are taking their sweet time... Oh, probably should close this. Should be a minor siege. And I can tell because our attack risk is in the yellow, which is a one-minute siege. While that's happening, let's take a look for... Is this a restaurant? No, seconds out of repair, armwell, gun store. I bet I bet they're all infested. Yeah, swine and bovine. Um, a boon trader. I don't even know what house they're in. I, I could have swore that around here there was a... Um, um, a oh, here's a rickety old barn. I might claim that one. A little bit out of position from where I would typically like it. I usually like them to be a bit more on the main road, but... Food is the main thing, Like That's the main thing we're losing right now. Yep, yep, and you're a zombie and you're in the base. Blah, blah, blah. Let's make this man count, oh, oh, they're crawling. I was wondering why I was taking them so long. I'm like looking at them like, when are you going to get here? Did you just open the door and let him in? This guy, he he might be a spy. He might be like a uh, an agent set by like a rival government trying to like overthrow El Supremo. I have to keep my eye on this guy. I gotta rest a sec. So apparently, some people did not think close combat was very good. I mean, it, it kind of sucks against large quantities of zombies, but for just everyday combat, it's just super, super good. It's just the main thing that sucks about close combat is leveling up. Oh my god, leveling up is a, as a pain. Looks like we got a bloater. I mean, yeah, it sounds more like we got a juggernaut. That's the sound I'm hearing. And apparently, a screamer. Yeah, there we go. Right, so the bloater is currently protecting the screen, which is aggravating. Watch it, juggernaut! Let me just put an arrow in that guy's head. Hey, look at us. We're alive. Where is the juggernaut? I, I hear him smashing and bashing. Here he is. Like, come on. You, you, everyone has about the same. You all have 50 caliber rifles. You can just blast them with your gun. Shoot them with the gun. There's, very, there's really nothing to it. There you go. Just two more times. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. God. Okay. Just immediately blasted them. There. Give me the samples. Okay, let's drop this stuff off. Um, yeah. 
plenty of stuff to drop off. Good, good. Uh, what? Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Did my game just crash? What is happening? No, understand. Wow. Sign in status has changed. It it has. Hold on a second, boys. A few moments later. Uh, yeah. So, welcome back. I guess uh, this. Is a well, welcome to episode three, boys. I am your host, El Supremo Dictator. Get good, Fox. Um. And this is the... No, no, no. I know what you guys are going to say if I do this. You're going to be like, Oh, does that mean the episode gets to be 45 minutes long? Hell no. Hell no, you guys. We got to keep on schedule. We got to keep on schedule. We got like a wagon. We got like convoy content coming and we got to stay on schedule. So I'm not going to... You know, not gonna do any of these kind of jokes that you guys are gonna flip a on me. Go over the Boon Traders and recruit a new person. Oh, wait. I caught it that time. I caught it. I caught it. They're not gonna do it to me. I mean, I'm sure I'll forget again. But I caught it that time. Right, they're not gonna get me like, you know, like you know, every now and then, like, three times in a row. No, no, I've gotta have at least one time where, where I catch it. So the Boon Trader. Oh man, why do they gotta like? Why do they gotta live in this annoying place? Oh, that's right. I was also going to set up an outpost. Uh, I forgot about that. Man, like, I don't know what it is. I think Xbox Live is having a problem right now, and some people are saying it has to do with this new game coming out called. I guess that came out today called Outriders. Hey, I don't know anything day. about the game other than oh, business. Don't know anything about. Hey, yeah, buddy. you can come with me. Uh, what do you have for sale, actually? You. Food and fuel. I need both of those. Come with me. Everything myself. There we go. All right, lead the way. Oh my god, I love having allies, and I love you know like the trade. The trade. Th that's one of my favorite parts of this game. It really, really is. It is just buying and trading. Buying. You know, the, huh? for me, the looting would be so much, just so funny? much less fun without the trading. You know, like looting. It's okay and all, but what's, what, for me, what really gets me going, what, really, what I think is really fun, is the trading. Yeah, I have a strong feeling I'm just going to forget about that whole objective, too. I, I don't get why the tavern doesn't count as a food place. Okay, got to squish this guy off real quick. Is it because the ta- I mean, like, wouldn't they serve- I mean, like, I get that the tavern would be- have, like, alcohol and stuff, but, like, wouldn't the tavern also sell, like, food? I don't know. It's the logic of this game, though. Man, it stinks. Normally there's, like, a spoon and cone in these little, like, buildings here, but, uh, I don't think- I don't think we get lucky on that this time. Okie dokes. Um, so last episode I tried speaking a little quieter. This episode I, so like, yeah, like last episode if you thought I, maybe I sounded a little strange, I was, I was basically talking a little more like this. this. I was restraining my voice a little bit. And that's I've been trying to talk a little bit quieter to not have as many, to not have as much reverb in the videos. Because I've been thinking that's about investing life. in acoustic panels, but the problem is that the house that I, the, the room I recorded in, is a really weird shaped room and I've wanted to move into a more, a more permanent office, but I wanted to get my carpet. There, there, there's a lot of things I wanted to do before I did, because like right now that office is completely empty. And I was like, well, that's the perfect time to get the carpet replaced, you know? No, you don't. I'm going to get him. That's right. Before before the AI tries to mess it all up. But that's what I was thinking about. But at the same time, I don't know. I think I sound weird when I try to restrain my voice like that. Maybe you guys didn't even notice. I mean, like I notice it just because I listen to all the audio when I do the editing. But yeah, it's a Sub City Laundry. Normally, there'd be like a spoon and cone or something. That would be a food place. But to me, I guess. The real question is, can I find something worth looting? Tube of fireworks. Uh, I'm shells for like 17. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here. Oh, that's not bad, actually. 
I am going to hang on to that hiking backpack in case uh, when I get new recruits, I'll want to. Well, maybe, maybe not. I might sell it, I might not. Just because I tend to use my main three people. Well, oh, two tubes of fireworks. That's not bad. That actually adds up to a single... Can I not interact with you? Oh, my God. It's always something. I blame it on the Xbox Live servers. I can't interact and sell the people. Now it's like half the reason you're here is now gone. A stray tampon. Wow, look at this. I can't. Oh, my. Now, just because the feral. Oh, it hurt us. Probably going to beat it up, to be honest. And the reason we're going to fight it is because. Yeah, we gotta. We just gotta surround it and beat its butt. That's all we gotta do. Please help me. Please don't just like stand there and do nothing. I'm just saying. So there you got to see the the feral didn't actually damage. Well, that damage did. Oh. How about I not get sick and die out here? Oh no. Oh, game okay. blood plague, of course. Now we have to actually like retreat. That was really sloppy. But what can you do? I guess you can, like, retreat. That's what you do. Leave. Like this. We got four minutes or five minutes, so all you gotta do is drive back. Yeah, when that happens, that means you need to, you know, refresh your feral combat strategies. I feel even worse than I look. But the reason why it was okay, the reason why this isn't a big deal is because, well, like I said, it was a calculated battle. And what was calculated about it? Well, I knew it would just be a two-on-one. I knew it would just be me versus the feral and that there wouldn't be any zombies to interfere. So there's really, it's it's not a big deal. And that's why all we got to do is go right here and activate one of our cures. And we're good. Uh, let's throw, let's, oh, that's right. I can't sell because this mod would be, oh my God, I'd love to sell this mod, but... Oh wait! Now I can interact. What? You got something for me? Now I can interact. I'm gonna sell this mod. I don't need it. I don't need that. I don't need this. Um, I don't need that or this or that. Throw all this away. Or throw not throw it away. Let's throw it in the in the vault. Now we'll switch characters. No! Damn it! I pushed the wrong button. I just <laughs> wasted one of those. But there you go. That, that's why we did it that way, because it was a calculated risk. I still haven't maxed out close combat on this character. Jeez. But as I said, maxing out close combat, it, it's kind of a pain, to be honest. So I'm actually not that surprised. But that's something I should probably do while I am out there is stab zombies until we max out. But if you knew there were other zombies in that battle, then you would not want to take that risk. Why would you want to take that risk? Well, that's how you improve your skills in the game. Basically, if you're not fighting those ferals in one-on-one -on -one or even two-on-one -on -one combat, if you're not fighting the ferals, then you're not going to develop the skills for it. Over here. I don't know. I don't know why the ferals give you plague, even when you successfully dodge them. Some people said they've got an aura or this or that. Like I think that's just kind. Of, I think that's kind of silly, personally. Uh, people say they do that even on Heartland. I just don't understand why. Like to me, it just seems. I mean, it's, I guess it's. I don't know if it's an intended effect or not. That's one of the issues I have. Like, did Undead Labs intend for you to? get blood plague. Yeah, I might claim this Dirty Bird Espresso, actually. Although it's kind of close to the base. Yeah, too close to the base. It would help with morale, though, and apparently Let's morale isn't super sure. good. Sell that and that. What's morale looking like? Yeah, this will be enough to get us out of depressed, I think. All right, folks. Yeah, both Was that enough? Coming. Yes, we're back in stable. All right, so that's fine. We can always tear that one down anyways. Also, I guess we can just drop our loot off real quick. Just like so. Uh, let's keep hitting some areas. We got... Oh, come on. There's the food location. Well, I guess it is too, a little too close to... A little too close to the base. I kind of... I like to spread my outposts out a bit because... In case I want to, like, resupply... Oh wait, that's right. I need to be stabbing zombies because that's how you improve your close combat. Mama Fratelli's. 
Mom spaghetti? Um, okay, I guess I'll take those. No, I guess uh, a little bit of stuff for C4 and whatnot. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, ooh, a case of tampon. Not a stray tampon, but a whole case of them. Oh my god, how much is that worth? One, wow, 170. Holy crap, <laughs> that's actually not bad. I was about to make fun of it for only being worth like a hundred. I'm like, oh, so what did I get? Like three? But 170, that's actually not bad. That's ac I think that's on par with the signal antenna mod. I think the signal antenna is also worth 170, so that was a pretty good find, actually. Okay, parts. Is this like a crumpled up can of soda or bottle of soda? Sure looks like it. Doesn't have don't have the detail to see like what, what brand it is though. Um let's hit some of these houses. Find it. I feel like it. I feel like doing it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Get in. There we go. What are, what are we up to in terms of influence? So we are down basically 800. From, so like 4,000 is what we started with, so we're down 800. I was wondering if we had recovered yet, but no, not quite. That's the end of you. Got to squish a whip. Houses. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll get... I was going to say something about houses, but I'm like... Maybe we'll get a comfy chair before I disparage houses for typically having garbage in them. That looks like a highly customized gun you get there. Gotta finish it. Got a stabberoni. There we go. Give, give me some of that close combat skill. This is why people think close combat sucks, though, so because just the everyday combat, like what I'm doing right here, just stabbing them, it's not great. I'll be the first to tell you that it's it's just not great. Hey, 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 hey! Ah! Get jump st I wasn't, oh, wasn't expecting that. Too busy like admiring my knife skills. Stop killing them all! I need the XP. You're a kill stealer. Oh, oh god. And it's like they're trying to turn this into a horror game or something. They're coming out and like jump scaring me. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, let me get back to looting this house. Um, garbage. Well, somewhat garbage. Like scraps. Let's call them scraps. Things that could be useful. Not those bandages, though. I'm selling those for nine influence. What do we got to do? Come on, it's a wooden crate. Um. Oh, wow, metal bat salvages for 67 parts. That's actually not bad. Like, it's like, instead of thinking of it as getting metal bat, yes. I think of it as getting 67 parts. That's pretty Why good. Not? So let's sell this and this. Uh, yes, I will sell there, the bandages as well. Why, Why am I going to sell the bandages? Oh, you just get so many of them that it doesn't really matter. Not something I intend to Nothing use. Nothing more to kill here. Okay, here's the final lootable. Trying to hide them from me. Trying to hide loot from me? Let's hit the road. We're done Jugs here. of ethanol. Well, that's that. Well, I suppose that's a good enough adventure for today. Get your hands dirty? Nah. Remnants have a demand for food? That's annoying. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. Yeah, you yeah, have a little bit, of, a little bit of an adventure, like in the beginning. Like as you can see, just going for like low risk adventure. Well, you know, I guess. I mean, no, no. I would actually consider fighting that feral low risk, because like there was no chance of any of us dying. Just because, like I said, I was certain that it was just going to be a small skirmish. So even if I got blood plague, as I did, I knew I'd be able to escape. So I wouldn't even consider that to be a high risk one. And. We've got plenty of cures. We brought a ton of cures with us, so not a big deal. And once we start killing play guards, we will be able to build even more cures over time. So it, it's not it's not a big deal. Anyways, 
the base is coming along. Let's see what we still need. Uh, we cannot upgrade this because we just we just don't have knowledge of medicine. This is already fully upgraded. Uh, we don't have knowledge of computers, so um, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I don't really want to put. I okay. I, I'll build a garden here. There you go. We'll build a garden. Bam, shabam a lamb, building a garden here. So we'll have the garden ready. That'll push back against the food. We're currently losing 4.75 food per day. The reason for the decimal is due to, um, uh, let me see. Not this skill here, meal plan, because it's not unlocked, but one of her thing lives on pasta. So she eats minus 25% food per day. So, I mean, that's what makes her such an awesome character. Her only disadvantage is the in recovery, but like we were able to do just fine even with her in recovery. But overall, like honestly, if I could pronounce her name, Navi, that, that's her nickname, or Hannah, we'll call her by her last name. She's actually a really, really, really good character overall. Like, I really, you know, some people like having more health or more stamina. I like stuff like lives on pasta, and I like stuff like the meal plan. Like, if we could find three people with meal plan, apparently the bonus will stack up to 75%. So I would assume it'd be 25 plus 25 plus 25. And minus 75% food eaten per day, that is almost enough to neutralize the food penalty of uh, Lethal Zone. It's definitely enough to neutralize the food penalty on Nightmare Zone. So I mean, that, that's, a, that's actually a pretty awesome hero bonus, especially because it's just, it's just like an extra thing that you get. It's just, it's just really good. Anyways, hope you enjoy the little adventure that we went on. We're, we're getting there, starting to explore. We're up to three allies. You know, we're already, j just as the zombies spread, infect, and set up their plague hearts, I push back and infect houses with living survivors. I guess that's the analogy I'm going to go with. No, I'm expanding the Fox Republic. That's what I'm doing. Like, these are my, like, these are my little fiefdoms right here. You know, this is the fiefdom of the colony of survivors, the fiefdom of the remnants, and the fiefdom of my, the boon traders. They, they, they are, you know, my vassal states who, who are paying homage, who are, they're paying tribute to me, El Supremo Fox. Anyways, like the video, visit, hey, subscribe for the future state of K2 people so warlords seeking content of course remember that you don't have to be good to get good